Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Day 100. <laughs> okay, look at this place. I can't live here any longer. I gotta go right now. Look at them down there. Oh god! There was a bomb. I'm the only man left alive. And now, I have one goal. Survive 200 days in a Minecraft nuclear winter. Alright, day 100. I started by running. A lot. I knew that the monsters would keep getting harder and harder, so I wanted to get as far away from the city as possible. Hey, what do you know? Hey, bud. After a few tries, I eventually got on the horse and continued traveling. Oh god! Later that evening, I stumbled across a building. What is this? Inside, there was also some pretty good loot. Okay, alright. I decided to spend the night there, but I couldn't sleep because of the monsters. Okay. Okay, that's just great. The next morning, I dug through the wall and started killing the mobs. Okay, now I need to try to find my horse. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna get out of here. I actually ran for a pretty long time trying to escape the monsters, but then I found this. What is that? Oh my gosh. This is like a, an abandoned town or something. I looked around, but there was nobody around, so I decided to set up camp in this building. Oh my gosh. What happened to this place? Okay, I don't really know why I said that. I already knew the reason this place was destroyed was because of the nuclear missiles. On day 102, I started using my gun a lot more. I also started salvaging things from the houses and buildings. Oh. Okay. Apparently these people were pretty rich or something, because they had a ton of good loot. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you, old friend. It is good to see you. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. That's cool. The witches were pretty annoying, but I could deal with them. Oh, okay, what, seriously, what the heck is, you know what, just, just watch. Oh my gosh. Oh, now look at this. What the heck? Tam? Okay, I'm just gonna leave that alone. I continued taking what I could from the houses, and I ended up finding a teddy bear. Oh, looks like they left behind something. Oh. That's a shame. I went downstairs, and I ended up finding a gun in the garage. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Now, at this point, I hadn't forgotten about the zombies in the basement. I didn't really know why they were down there, but I wanted to figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna try to find out what the heck this is. Greg, what, what the heck is this? Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I think these guys might be zombie villagers. What is this? What's this guy's name? Kruger. Hey, Kruger. Okay. I mean, if they're zombie villagers, I should be able to heal them, right? What is this? H for hospital, maybe. Okay. I think I'm gonna try to make this place my base. The first thing I did was create a mine, because I wanted to be able to gather ores pretty easily. <laughs> this is so scuffed. Because the torches would burn out, I ended up using the lamps from the houses. Then, this happened. Oh no. Please no. Please. Not. Not tonight. Oh god. Okay. Okay. I gotta seal this off right now. Oh my gosh. Look at that! If you don't remember Blood Moons, I couldn't sleep and more monsters spawned. Okay, now guys, check this one out. Ready? There we go, see? I read all the comments. You guys told me to like them like that, so there you go. Look at them all out there. Wow. Just, just take a look at this. At this point, I was killing so many of them. The entirety of day 106 was just spent killing monsters. I eventually killed most of them off, but uh, this guy was not dead yet. Look, that's a mutant creeper over there. Okay, you know what? Um, oh, oh god, okay. Okay, what the heck? Oh, okay, oh god, and we're running, and we're running. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh my gosh, did I kill it? There's no way. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Okay, wow. I think I actually just killed it. 
What is this? Creeper shard. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. If you think that was bad, wait until the end of the video. Trust me, that, that was nothing compared to what would happen. A anyways, I continued just working on the hospital for the next few days. On day 110, I was getting pretty close to finishing the hospital. It wasn't looking too bad. I basically finished the roof on day 112, and I added a fence on the top so I wouldn't get knocked off. After that, I set up some chests and started moving my stuff from the old base. Okay, look at this. I went through the houses and used the lamps to light up my base. Like, oh my god, dude, just use torches. Anyways, um, I made an enchanting table and I ended up needing some more books, so I went over and got some from the church. The next day, I was out patrolling when I found a bear. I ended up killing him, but then I discovered something pretty peculiar. Oh. Oh, I have an idea. That day, I destroyed the entire greenhouse. Wait, so this is freezing over after I remove the greenhouse glass. That means that the greenhouse glass has some sort of, like, effect with the weather. I don't really know what it is, but I'm gonna try and figure that out. On day 117, I started working on something. If you noticed earlier, only after I removed the greenhouse glass did the water freeze. Maybe if I made a proper greenhouse, I could get crops to grow. Okay, let's let's test this here. Oh, oh my gosh. I can grow stuff. Okay, this was a game changer because now I could grow crops and I didn't have to worry about running out of food. They're trying to climb it. They're trying to climb the base. Get out of there. Oh, I gotta light this up better. Okay, the next day I was upgrading my base and I noticed a creeper. Haha, <laughs> haha, funny, right? Wrong. Whenever I run over this way, look at him, look at him, there he goes. What is this guy doing? No one knows. <laughs> okay, this was instant karma. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, there's fire, 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 fire. Oh god, then another one exploded. Oh no, 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 no! Ugh. I tried putting the fire out, but it was useless. Oh, oh my gosh. I decided to leave and come back late. Uh, okay, why did I do this? I don't know. You know what, you see that? That town, I love it, but man, there is gotta be something else out there. Oh God, okay, oh boy. This might be really bad actually. Then I got a blood moon. Oh God. Oh my gosh, look at them all. Look at them all. Oh my gosh, look at that! Look at that! Every time I tried to row away, they would just shoot down my boat. Oh my gosh! I used the wood I had to box myself in. Okay, I just gotta stay inside here. Okay, okay, you know what? We're gonna block it off too. In the morning, I took a look outside. Oh, look at that. Look at them. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay. Okay, wow. Okay, what was that? Like, there were so many- uh, Okay, wow. What is that? Look at that. Looks like some sort of tower or something. I wonder what that is. I got closer to the tower, and it wasn't really that interesting. But then I spotted another tower across the valley. I took a closer look, and, uh, hey, what do you know? It, uh, looked like a military base. Ooh, whoa. There were some guns inside, which would actually help me out later, but then I went over to the watchtower, and it had some pretty good loot. This is pretty helpful. I realized I should probably head back to the town at this point, and I found my way back, but by the time I got back, the fire was still going. Like, holy crap, Felix, just put the fire out already. Okay, 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 we are leaving. We are leaving right now. I tried to defend the place, but I ended up camping out in the original building. Okay, the mobs inside my base, yeah, that was a pretty huge issue. I didn't have much light, and I needed to figure out a way to stop the mobs from spawning, so I, <laughs> I placed slabs on the ground. Somehow it actually worked. Look at this. I killed a mutant skeleton, which was pretty cool. Even though there wasn't a blood moon, the mobs were still pretty crazy. I took care of the monsters in the morning, and hey look, I killed another mutant mob. Whoa, this thing actually looks pretty good. Okay, that hammer was actually pretty powerful, but for now, I had to focus on getting slabs to cover my base. 
Throughout the next few days, I actually gathered a ton of blocks and managed to completely restore the hospital. I also moved my bed to the roof so I could actually sleep. The next day, I was out chopping trees when I noticed a tower in the distance. Ooh, what is that? I broke through the wall and climbed up to see what was there. Oh wow, okay. By the time I got back to the base, the greenhouse was actually working. <laughs> Look at this! Potato city over here. The next day, I needed to make some potions. Remember those zombie villagers in the basement? Well, I was gonna try to cure them now. Hey, whoa, there we go. I spent all day brewing the potions, and the next day I headed over to the church to see what I could do. What the heck is going on in there? I ended up digging a hole underneath and getting one of the zombies on its own. Okay. I then started manually curing every single one of them, which actually took a pretty long time. Oh my gosh, it works. He's shaking. He's shaking. Okay. I continued to splash the potions on the zombies, and by day 132, they were all cured. Look at them all. There we go. They're all safely stowed away. Okay. The mobs were only getting worse at this point, so the next day I upgraded my armor. And then after that, I decided to work on the base for a bit. I started exploring a lot more, and I ended up discovering this house, which was actually kind of neat. What is that? The house was kind of looking strange in the middle of nowhere, but I decided not to question it. The next morning, there were a ton of mobs. Okay, just, just look at this. I managed to kill them all, but then I discovered this. Hey, I didn't know there were animals here. Okay. I decided to come back for them later, but I needed some wheat, so I headed over to the greenhouse and started planting some seeds. I also made a lit torch with some glowstone so it wouldn't burn out, and then I did a ton of mining. I was planning on making a cobblestone wall around the town. On day 140, I headed up to the greenhouse and started baking some wheat. I wanted to head back to the house I found earlier and gather some livestock. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get one of these guys out of here. Look at them over there. The fight of the century. Throughout the rest of the day, I rode the animals across the river. Look at all these guys. Hey. It actually took me a pretty long time to get them back to the base because I had to move really slowly. I eventually got back to the town, but by then it was nightfall, so I had a little rest, and by the morning, I was actually feeling pretty confident. Oh, oh, I actually remember this part. No! Oh, dude, no, 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 no! Okay, he killed one of the cows, but there's still a cow back at the, at the house, so we can just go get the cow back at the house. Okay, it was about now when I snapped out of my, oh, everything's okay, to like, I actually need to prepare. I put the livestock in the house for now, and then I ran back to get the last one. Fortunately, the third cow was still in its pen, so I grabbed it and rode back. By the time I got back, it was nighttime, so I tried my best to protect the cow. I wanted to eventually release the villagers back into the town, but I really didn't have any light sources. I didn't want to have to do this, but I needed to go to the nether to get glowstone. I did not want to have to do this. Oh god, what the heck, man. Here's nothing, I guess. <sighs> Alright, this is gonna be fun. I forgot how much I hated this dimension. Okay. I eventually ended up building up and collecting some glowstone. Okay, um, oh gosh, we are getting out of here. The next day, I gathered all the cobblestone I mined and started making a wall. <clears throat> Attack on Titans. <clears throat> When I released the villagers, I needed to make sure they would be safe. On day 146, I connected the walls, but I needed to make it taller. On day 150, I headed down to the ground and started placing cobblestone. I wanted to release the villagers, but if there were any zombies spawning, that would be a problem. I also cleared out some foliage and cleaned up the town a bit. Okay. 
Okay. Oh my gosh. I ran back to the church to make sure the villagers were safe. Okay. Uh, are the villagers still all right? Okay, good. Oh my gosh, they're already spawning in. Okay. Oh my gosh. Just as I was recovering from the first one, I had another blood moon. What the heck? What? I survived the blood moons, but the next day I realized there were a lot more mobs spawning. What the heck? Okay. I eventually killed off all the mobs, and I needed more glowstone, so I headed off to the nether dimension again. I gathered more glowstone, but it was becoming harder and harder to find. I found myself taking more risks just to get some. Okay. Although the nether was dangerous, I really needed to light up the town and make sure the villagers would be safe. The next few days, I continued lighting up the town with glowstone. There were some small parts where mobs could still spawn. Okay, I definitely think I learned a few lessons from the first 100 days nuclear winter video. I placed slabs on top of the wall to make sure mobs wouldn't be able to spawn, and then I placed slabs around the side of the wall to make sure that the spiders couldn't climb up. After that, I went mining because I was getting a bit low on cobblestone. And if you want cobblestone, you should join my Discord server in the link- okay, okay, link in the description. On day 160, I left the walls and look at the- okay, look at that. Look at that thing to my right. What the heck is that? Anyways, I chopped down some trees to get some wood. After that, I actually made a proper penned-in area for my livestock, and I actually thought it looked pretty decent. I then went and got the animals I put in the house earlier. The next day, I went to the nether to gather more glowstone. Oh, I actually remember this part. I think I was watching, like, a video on McDonald's ice cream machines or something like that. Then, I continued walking through the nether looking for more glowstone. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, what the heck? Oh my god. Okay, what the heck? I accidentally hit a zombie pigman, and now they were all mad at me. Oh god. Oh god! Okay, I gotta make a run for it. Go! What the heck? Oh my gosh, leave me alone! Oh my gosh. That was so dumb. I decided I probably wouldn't go back to the nether for a while, and I just continued placing glowstone. On day 163, I went around the mines gathering ores and killing mobs for XP. I ended up using the XP to upgrade my pickaxe the next day. I went out to chop some trees and gather some wood, and I ended up using the wood to upgrade the walls around my town. Okay, this was literally just Clash of Clans. I ended up making some fences and surrounding the entire wall with them, but I hope it was worth it because they ended up keeping some mobs out. The next day, I made some of those lit torches that wouldn't burn out, and then I placed them around the town to hopefully help with mob spawning. Later that night, I decided to stay awake and see if the torches were effective. Fortunately, there were only a few mobs that spawned, so it was looking pretty safe. Um, the next day, I pretty much just placed slabs every- Okay, dude, I'm eating ice cream, just give me a second. Okay. The Blood Moon wasn't actually that much of an issue now, because most of the town was lit up. Just kidding, a mutant creeper made it in. Okay. Oh, boy. I gotta go lead him away from the tower. Oh, here he comes. Here- Oh, what the heck? Okay. Oh, my gosh. I pretty much spent the rest of the night inside my base. Hey, what do you know? Day 169. Okay, can you like not? Like, can you just get off, please? Okay. Oh, well, now he's mad. All right, day 169. Nice. I spent most of the day pretty much filling in holes and covering in all the spots that were destroyed during the blood moon. I also placed a ton of slabs. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now we've got a pet sheep. 
Okay, I'm gonna be real with you. Around this time was when I really had to start rushing. I had to make sure no mobs would spawn once I released the villagers. And on day 173, I ventured outside the walls and started chopping some trees. I did this for day 174 as well, but the next day I made a promise. If there were no mobs that spawned that night, I would release the villagers the next day. Look at this. Look at this. I don't mean to speak too soon, but there are no mobs spawning inside of the wall. The next day, I headed down and started releasing them. Alright guys. Come on. Out you go. Hey guys. How's it going? Look at this guy. Kruger. What's this guy's name? Emmett. I covered the tunnel and kept an eye out for mobs. I know I usually kid around and stuff, but look at this. This is actually really wholesome. All the villagers are allowed to live in their town now. On day 177, I ventured a little farther, and I found some mountains that I had never seen before. Oh, Look at this place. What is that? What is this place? Turns out, I had stumbled across an old hunting cabin. Wow. Look at that. That's really pretty. Okay, nice going, Felix. It was almost day 180, and I was just out exploring. The next day, I rushed back to the base as fast as possible. I ended up finalizing the spawn-proof base to make sure the villagers and I would be safe. I then went out chopping trees for a project I was preparing to make. Okay, it was day 180 and I knew the mobs would start getting really hard now. On day 181, I started creating a massive watchtower on top of my base so I could see the mobs over the wall. Hey, this kind of looks like the Calgary Tower. Okay, no it doesn't. I don't know why I wrote that down in my notes. Sometimes the Felix of the past is very different than the Felix now. The next day, I started working on a trap. I was planning on luring the mobs into a hole and then killing them from there. By the end of the day, I finished the hole just in time for this. Okay, this... Okay, I gotta finish this really quickly. Okay, okay, they started spawning in. Okay, that is a lot of mobs. Okay, it looks like the hole is kind of working, but I'm just going to steer clear of that area for now. The next day, I checked around the base and discovered this. Oh no, some of them were infected. Okay, some of them were infected. Oh god, they dug through. Okay, what was this? What was even going on? Th that wall I made around the town? Useless. I started taking out most of the mobs, making sure not to kill any of the zombie villagers. Okay, they're gonna breach that wall really soon. Are there any villagers left? Okay, there aren't any villagers left. This guy's the last survivor. I dug a hole and kind of just filled it in for now. At this point, the mobs had gotten massive, and I was really starting to get desperate. But then, I had an idea. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Okay, you know how the zombies were digging through the walls around the town? Well, now I was going to go full Sigma male and use lava to defend against them. Okay, so, day 186, I pretty much finished covering half the walls in lava. This was pretty dangerous, but I kept going to the nether to get more lava. I had to use a tunnel system to make sure the zombie pigman wouldn't get me. Okay. Oh, sorry, my bad. Okay, day 190. I had 10 more days. I started making an underground bunker to protect the last villager, Lucas. 
I made sure the bunker was secure, and then I brought Lucas down. Okay, come on, dude. It's time to go down. There he goes. Okay, whoa. I do not have any more arrows. The next day, I started gathering all the potatoes in the greenhouse, and then brought them down to the bunker. He's safe in here. I started creating another room in the bunker for an underground greenhouse. Hopefully that way, there would be a sustainable source of food underground. Okay. Okay, I gotta get up right now. Okay, I know I say this every time, but that is a lot of mobs down there. Holy crap. I think I was going insane. <sighs> it's midnight. That means I'm looking for some chicken. <sighs> okay. The next day, I descended from the bunker and went to go check on Lucas. Okay, Lucas, he's fine, he's safe, it's good. But it's just a sweet, sweet fantasy, baby, when I close my eyes, you can- <laughs> Okay. Hey, have you ever seen that movie Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds? Pretty good movie. Anyways, the next day, I added walls to the greenhouse and added in some dirt. Then, I started adding in some potatoes. Okay, <clears throat> I just want you guys to look at this. This guy is taller than the tree. Oh, okay, yep, we gotta get out of here. I started upgrading my gear to prepare for day 200, and then I planted trees inside the base. Leaving the walls at this point to gather wood was pretty much impossible. I'm not gonna lie, the trees made the town look pretty. I then started chopping down trees and gathering wood. I needed to make another watchtower because I wasn't able to see over the north wall. I needed to make a bunker for myself as well, so after I finished the watchtower, I started progress on that as well. Okay. Because the mobs could dig again, I was a little bit concerned for this blood moon. Okay, I really hope this town can survive, because if these guys breach the walls, we might not make it. I spent most of the night inside the town walls, and the next morning I went to go check on Lucas. The torches had burnt out, meaning the potatoes had despawned. Oh, that's great. All the potatoes are gone. I went over to get some potatoes and brought them down to the bunker. Wait a second, guys, look at that. They're holding TNT in their hands. I then continued working on my own bunker in case I needed to hide out during the night. I also added in some things to hopefully make it actually livable. Okay, day 199, the last day before day 200. I ended up naming my sword Destiny's Bounty, a reference to the 2011 hit series Lego Ninjago. Then I said my last words to Lucas. All right, Lucas, usually I'd give an epic war speech or something like that right now, but if I don't make this out alive, I want you to promise me that you'll find whoever's doing this to us, whoever's sending these missiles, and I want you to kill them for me, okay? Okay, this was it. This was the final battle. And if I died, everything I had worked for was for nothing. Here we go. Okay, let's do this. Oh man, look at that guy. He is taller than the actual wall. Okay. I what the heck? What the heck? Okay, look at that. The mobs could jump so high they were basically flying. Okay, how are they getting up here? This was just the beginning, trust me. Okay. I remember the bunker I made earlier, so I started heading down to it. Okay. Wait, I wasn't a coward. I would protect my town and survive 200 days. Okay. Let's go take this guy out. Die! Come on! A mutant enderman, the hardest mob to kill. Oh my gosh! I killed him! He's dead! Oh my gosh. Oh my- <gasps> Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Holy crap, it's day 200. Wait, is this- Oh, I don't actually think I've explored this building before. It's- Okay, already day 200. And you- Mother f 